In this morning's Money Watch, the cell phone wars have officially begun, and that is great news for all of us. Verizon launches the iPhone today, but you don't have to be in the market for an iPhone to get a good deal. If you just want to improve your current plan, we can help you do that too. CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis here to tell us there are plenty of ways to use all of this hype to your advantage. Yeah, timing is everything, Erica. According to a recent study, 10% of consumers say they plan to switch wireless carriers in the next 90 days, and that's a big opportunity for phone companies, but also a big opportunity for savings for customers. Yes, I can hear you now. Only AT&T's network lets your iPhone talk and surf at the same time. Let the cell phone wars begin. Verizon rolls out the iPhone 4 in stores today and expects to sell 11 million of them this year. I'm excited to get a Verizon iPhone. I've wanted one for a while. I have AT&T and it drops calls all the time. I used to have Verizon before this and uh, it works all the time, you know, never drops a call. So I might go back. Wireless providers AT&T, Sprint and T-Mobile are all battling it out with their own promotions, trying to win the war with big bargains and better service. There's the official deals like free mobile to mobile calling and free smartphones. And then there's the unofficial deals you can get just by picking up the phone. And I'm wondering if you can give me any better deals than what's quoted on your website right now. We asked CBS News staffers to see today. how good a deal they could get by bargaining with their mobile phone companies. So I could drop from a $69.99 plan to a $39.99 plan. Is there anything that you can do to keep me on AT&T? From free texting to free minutes, even a $30 a month discount, each cell provider offered something extra. So whether you're thinking of getting a new iPhone or staying with your old carrier, the winner of the cell phone war can be you. And with all the calls we made, we found savings of about $360 a year. Everyone who made a call agreed that it was worth their time. So those couple minutes can translate to big dollars, Erica. Okay, so help us with those couple minutes then. What exactly did you say <laughs> to find that savings? Well, you, you kind of have to let them know you're thinking about switching plans. They really want to keep you. The, all of these cell phone carriers, the providers, they want to keep your business. And they're willing to play ball if you're saying to them, well, I might be walking away. And that was how we got it. Also, another important thing to do is to ask them when you call up, ask them how many minutes you are using. Ask them to look into your plan. I did that with Verizon. I have a Verizon BlackBerry and they'll tell you just how much usage you have. So if it makes sense for you to switch to some lower, less expensive plan, you have that information right there. Okay, but most important say to them, I'm thinking yeah. of leaving. They, uh, they get a little scared. <laughs> yes, they do. We'll take whatever we can get. And then once you sort of get to a point where you're thinking, okay, I've got a great deal, mm -hmm. how do you really know this is the best plan? Well, I like I said when I called up, I was looking on all of their websites. So I had done all the research ahead of time to say, what on the website is the lowest cost for a particular service? When you tell them that number on the phone and say, can you meet that number or can you go lower than that number? That's what you really need to know so that you know if you're actually getting a deal. Obviously, you always have to do your diligence when it comes to mm -hmm. deals and that's one way you can do it here. A lot of people are switching because they want a different service. Other people just wanted to do it to keep costs down, but it's not always free to switch. How do you keep those costs down? Well, one way is to trade in your device. So for example, with the iPhone right now, Verizon is actually running an offer where they say, if you come to us and you have an iPhone with say AT&T, well, we can have you turn it in for a little bit of money so that you're not out whatever you spent on the device initially. So mm -hmm. there are these programs. Also, check out eBay and Gazelle, both websites where you can sell online the device that you've purchased through another provider. One way to keep it down. Great advice as always. Thanks, Erica. I love when you save me money, <laughs> Rebecca. Thanks. Thanks.